Do you need to be invigorated for the battle that we Christians fight? Do you feel like the enemy is coming hard against you and everyone seems to be retreating? Listen, I found the most amazing scripture tucked in to 2 Samuel chapter 23. I was just reading along and there was a catalog of King David's mighty warriors. And among those is mentioned this man named Eleazar. 2 Samuel 23 verses 9 and 10. The Bible says that he was with David when the Israelites were fighting the Philistines in a particular battle. And I don't know what happened in this battle, but the Lord tells us that the rest of the Israelites, they retreated. Most of the fighters, most of the warriors just stepped back and retreated. The battle must have been very hard. But here's what's incredible. It says that Eleazar stood his ground and struck down the Philistines till his hand grew tired and froze to the sword. Now I'm sure that that means his hand was so clenched to that sword for so tight and, and for so long that it kind of got cramped there. But listen to this. The Lord brought about a great victory that day. And the rest of the troops did not come back to fight with Eleazar until it was time to strip the dead, you know, to reap the, the bounty of the war. Eleazar fought the enemy pretty much single-handedly. Why? Because he clenched the sword. He wouldn't let go. His hand actually froze to the sword. Well, I got news for you, my friend. This Bible, the Word of God, is the sword of the Spirit. This is our sword today. And when we fight these spiritual battles, we need to remember we've got to have our hand stuck to the sword. We've got to keep this Word of God with us, holding tightly to it in our hearts and in our minds. We've got to be reading it. We've got to be studying it. And when the Word of God is our sword, and when we hold to that, it doesn't matter who backs away. It doesn't matter who is not fighting with us because the Lord is on our side. And this weapon always wins against the enemy. So let's let that be an encouragement to us. Let us hold tightly to God's word and remember that with his word in our hand and in our heart, we win against the enemy every time.